So you thought the cup action had ended well. No, it hasn't. Certainly for the men, we're going back in time a little, while for the women, we're down to the quarter-final stage. Hello, we're here at the Queensland Sports and Athletics Centre for the draws of the Canali Cup and the Elaine Watson Cup. I'm joined by Alan Eady, who's going to make sure that I keep honest. And uh, um, So to explain the process, we'll go to the men's to start off with. And in the Canali Cup, we have the 10 teams who made the Westfield FFA Cup round five. First, we're going to draw six teams out, and those six teams effectively have a bye straight through to the quarterfinals. The other four teams will play off, and the two winners from those games will join those other six teams into the quarterfinals. So without any further ado, let's get into the draw process. Alan, to put the... Balls into the pot. So just a reminder, the first six teams out have a bye through to the quarterfinals. So let's take a look at those to start off with. And I've got to get back into my kinder surprise pulling process again. So the first of the six teams is Ipswich Knights. Number two is Capalabar. Third team is Acacia Ridge. Fourth team with a bye is Mogul. Fifth team straight through to the quarterfinals, uh, Eastern Suburbs. And the sixth team that will not have to play an extra game is Mitchelton. So there's still some heavy contenders in the pot from what I can remember, these four teams. So let's take a look at the matchups. As always, home team will be drawn first. So first team will be Southside Eagles and their opponents. Uh, the current Flight Centre Premier League leaders, Lions FC, with a trip over to Bulimba. Hosting the second match is Pine Rivers. And who will be making the trip over to Wendy Ellison Park? It's Rochdale Rovers. So, funny enough, the two football Brisbane teams that uh, made it to that penultimate stage here in Brisbane are going to have to be forced to play an extra game to qualify into the quarterfinals of the 2016 Canali Cup. So that's the Canali Cup done for the time being. We're just going to do a bit of a quick pack up here and we'll bring in the Elaine Watson Cup draw. As I said before, we're at the quarterfinal stage. There's still one tie uh, left outstanding, Turinga versus UQFC uh, from that previous round still to be rescheduled. So we'll have a combination in one of these uh, ties. And we're going to draw both the quarterfinals and the semifinals today. Let's get into it. First team out are the current Mount Franklin Women's Premier League leaders, Mitchelton, and they'll be at home two, their opponents aren't too keen to come out, Mogul, second tie, Palabar will be at home two, Peninsula Power, so another all Mount Franklin Women's Premier League clash that one. Third of the quarterfinals, and it is that rescheduled tie yet to take place. It'll be the winner of Turinga or UQFC. And their opponents will be Annerley. And the final tie with the hosting rights 
I'll get this right one day eventually, Alan. Should be plenty of experience. <laughs> Olympic FC at home at Goodwin Park. And it'll be Logan Lightning making the trip to Goodwin Park for that one. So there are the quarterfinals. Hang on for one moment and we'll just do a quick reset for the semi-finals as well. We'll uh, put those balls coming into the pot now. So let's draw that. So it will be the winner of quarter-final one, and that's the match between Moggle and Mitchelton. And they will host the winner of quarter-final four against Olympic and Logan. So depending upon how results there, a bit of a heavyweight tie there potentially. And the second semi-final, it will be the winner of quarter-final two. That's Capella Bar versus either uh, Turinga and UQFC. Pen Sorry, Penn Power. Got ahead of myself there. We'll get it right this time round. Semi-final three, which is the Turinga Rovers versus UQFC that combination up against Annerley. So they're the draws for the Canali Cup, the playoffs, and then into the quarter-final stage. And for the Elaine Watson Cup, the quarter-finals and semi-finals. Football Brisbane will be in contact with relevant clubs to sort out times, dates and venues. Thanks very much for joining us for the draws today. Yeah.